guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are watching the video or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So, as the title says, this is going to be my December TBR, but I want to apologize ahead of time. There will be maybe four or five videos in the same sweatshirt, okay? Just letting you guys know because i am bulk recording on one day to ensure that i have enough footage <laughs> to post on a timely manner so um yeah and if i look a little out of it i'm slightly just slightly out of it but i'm um, just very very exhausted i didn't realize um how crazy the first of the year was going to be and it is currently the second of the year so mm, we love it but we're gonna get into this so I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the books that I got for the month of December. And um, then I have some extra items as well. I'm going to start off with the things that I purchased myself. Then we're going to get into the things that were sent to me for review. So the first two items I actually picked up when I went to Goodwill, I ended up doing a little cleanse of my bookshelves. Um, I just had like about 40 or 50 books that I just wasn't going to read. They were not Christian related books. They were more so secular books. And um, I just needed to get them off my shelf. So I took them to Goodwill. And of course... When taking on the Goodwill, you got to stop in Goodwill and see what you find. So I did come out of Goodwill with, I think, about six or seven books. Of those six or seven, two of them are Christian-related. So I got this book. It's The Shadow Lamp by Stephen R. Lawhead. It is the fourth book in the Bright Empires novel. And I got this because I do have the skin map by him that my sis Stephanie sent me. And I know that she actually owns, I think, all of the books in the series. There's five books right now. So I have the first and the fourth. I'm going to read the second third and the fifth books on ebook and if I like them I will go and purchase um, physical copies. I'm doing things a little different when it comes to um, buying books and allowing books to come in for review. I'm going to try them out on ebook first and if I like them then I will buy physical copies but this was like 99 cents so why not and I love purple. It's purple. It's so cute. It's purple. But here are the other books on the back. So we have the skin map which is book one. This is the bone house. This is the spirit well. This is book four and book five is I forgot what the title is. I'll throw the title on the screen or the cover somewhere over here. But um, yeah, I thought it was a great find. So I got it. I don't know Stephanie has read the first book and I think she enjoyed it. Um, So yeah, we have that. Second book I got is one I've been wanting to read for years, um, for years, honestly. And I know that this author has some issues within the Christian community as of right now um, or for the past couple of years. But I know that this book is still a great one to read. And um, I'm one of those people who believe that you can still read a book and not fully support the author. I feel like sometimes you have to separate the artist from the art. Um, you can't do that in all circumstances, of course, but I feel like sometimes you can. I enjoy reading books regardless of the person. If they do something now, um, but when the person writes the book, they're fine, if that makes sense. Hopefully that just made sense. Again, like I said, I'm a little out of it. I'm a little tired, so yeah. But um, it is Rick Warren, The Purpose Driven Life. I've been wanting to read this for years. I've started reading it several times and just never fully got through it because I had ebook copies of it. But I found this physical copy um, hardcover and it looks like it's in great condition except for like the little scratch here. I think this was also either a 99 cents or 1.99. But um, yeah, I've been wanting to read this for a very long time. Um, it says what on earth am I here for I'm not sure if it's going to have the same impact as it would have had if I read it originally during the time that I needed to but um, I'm still going to give it a go I still think it's going to be a great read and so thus I have this book um, it says a groundbreaking manifesto of the meaning of life again um, I'm going to go into this obviously with a good mindset but it has been blurred by Billy Graham and Franklin Graham um lee strobel as well as max Licato. and i've read from billy lee strobel and max Licato. so i mean it's great i'm going to i'm going to give it a go sorry again this side of my screen is a little blurry it will be fixed soon so hopefully after these four videos you see um the videos next will all be fine because i'm getting a new screen protector so but um yeah we have it and i'm glad to have this okay so now on to all of the review books so i was contacted um via email from the i think the publisher or the publicist for this author 
um, to see if I wouldn't mind reading this, and I'm here for it. I love a good devotional. I have problems. I got I got too many devotionals, and um, I think I need to stop buying devotionals, but I love devotionals. And so, they asked me if I wouldn't mind reading this um, and reviewing it and sharing it with you guys, and I was all for it because it sounded really good. Um, and it's called Jesus Centered Daily. See, here, touch, smell, and taste. 365 devotionals by Rick Lawrence. It's just a cute little tiny devotional. Again, I'm a sucker for devotionals. If you have one, a physical copy wants to be sent to me. I'll most likely take it. But, um, yeah, I think this is amazing. It came out this year, um, which is great. It is using the NLT translation, right? Yeah, it uses the NLT translation. And um, the reason why I like this, honestly, is it is dated. Um, you see the dates on the side. Now, I'm going to do a video on how I do devotionals and how I use them and I think how I think people should use them. Um, but I don't do them dated, honestly. Sometimes I do some, but majority of the times I don't. I just read them as a book, as is. Um, but you have your title, your date on the side, you have what you need to read, you have your devotional. But at the bottom, there are some things for you to um, have interactions with. So there's a question that says wonder. There's a part that says Jesus in which you're giving a scripture and then there is something for you to do. And I love interactive devotionals. I think that for me is the thing that I love because most devotionals are not fully interactive. They normally just give you a little, you know, Devo and then a scripture and a prayer and that's it. But I love devotionals that incorporate activities or incorporate um, questions for you to answer and complete and really dive deep into. So I was definitely here for this and I'm glad to have it. Um, this retails for $16.99. Here's the ISB. And if you guys are interested, it's from Life Tree Group. Um, so yeah, I am glad and I want to thank them for sending this to me for review. So we have this. Okay, and then the next book I got is from Thomas Nelson. And this is a book that I've been excited for since I found out that this author was coming out with a new one. Because I enjoy her Hagenheim series. I only read books 9 through 11, 9, 9 10, 11, right? I have three of them, right? Yeah. The Warrior Made in the Purpose Pursuit in the Peasant Stream. So when I found out she was starting a new series that is YA based, um, not set in the Hagenheim kind of world, but still that sort of fairy tale retelling historical Christian fiction, I was here for it. And thus, I have Court of Swans by Miss Melanie Dickinson and Ark. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. It comes out on the 5th. So by the time you guys see this video, it should be out already. Um, but I am making this a priority to read um, in the next two days. Uh, because I am excited. So on the back it says, um, when there is wealth and power, there is someone willing to do anything to take it. So it's set in England, 1381. And um, I'm trying to see exactly. So it's a retelling of the wild swans where virtues of loyalty and love face a harrowing showdown with power and fear. Um, there's King Richard II. There's Sir Geoffrey. I think that's how you say it. Um, and the young girl's name is Delilah. So I'm excited to read this. I just love this cover and I know that I'm definitely going to wear a hardcover. Um, but look at she and I'm determined this year to read all of Melanie Dickerson's books, all of her fairy tale retelling. So I need to go back and read the Hanging Hind series books one through eight. And then I want to read her adult versions that she has out. I think she has like three of them out that are adult. Um, maybe three or maybe six. I can't remember. But she has a few out that I definitely want to get my hands on to read. Uh, obviously, ebooks, of course, first before I go and purchase because we got to be mindful of these shelves. But, um, here we have this gorgeous beauty and it is why a uh, Christian fairy tale retelling. Okay, so the next books I got, I did do a separate video for. So click the eye on the screen to go to my Barbara and Britain Hall part two. But I did receive the other three books from Barbara and Britain. So I have Building Benjamin here, which is book two in the Tribes of Israel series. I then have Heavenly Lights, um, which is book two in the uh, Daughters of Zalofa Head series. And then I have book three, which is Claiming Canaan. And I think in the hall, I said Cana. Cana and Canaan are definitely two different places. Um, but yeah, you get the gist, Canaan. So I have those and I definitely will have dedicated reading vlogs for these starting next weekend. So next weekend I will be starting off with Building Benjamin and I have the other three oh, other three books right here. So we're happy to finally have all six of them. I can't wait. Um, they were all signed. So let me just show you guys quickly. All signed, all came with bookmarks. And I'm sorry that I'm not looking at the camera and I'm looking here. I'm trying to make sure everything is in frame. But um, so we have that one. Then we have Heavenly Lights. The bookmark for Heavenly Lights and Claiming Canaan is the same. Um, so that's how it looks. And then on the back. But uh, signed. And then we have Claiming Canaan as well, which is signed with a matching bookmark. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. So these are on my TBR for the month. So you will see a few of these books again featured in my monthly TBR. So moving on. Um, oh, 
also with that i did receive um a christmas card from barbara as well as a little note that came with my package um which i loved so much i read both of them totally loved them and i did email her already so yes um so moving on to the delilah box for december if you haven't seen that video click the article to my unboxing for that but i have the three books and of these three i'm only keeping two of these i will be getting rid of one so the first one is the christmas angel by jane moss this is a historical fiction christian novel set in 1875 um in Welsh London something like that and it's a story that follows um I think how many generations 10 generations um it, I forgot how many generations it said that it followed mm. okay it doesn't exactly say how many generations but it follows a few generations of a family um based on a Christmas angel that the guy in this book made if that makes sense um if you want the full synopsis go to that video where i read the full synopsis but i am going to give this a go it sounds interesting and honestly the only reason i'm giving it a go is because of the illustrations there are illustrations any book with illustrations has my heart like we love a good illustration and it's not that big of a book it's a really small um it is a about oh that's a pretty dress where did that picture go nope oh that's cute it's in wales a little wine bottle okay i'm trying to find out it was a picture of a cute dress Ugh, so pretty so i'm gonna give this a go but we have that one um the next book i have is the one that i'm actually going to be probably sending to goodwill um it's scoot over and make some room by heather avis um yeah it's a christian nonfiction. i really have no care to read it so i'm just gonna pass it along so we have that um and then we have this one which i'm super excited to read and it's from jill eileen smith and it's she walked before us grace courage and strength from 12 women of the old testament i know she has another book that um is about women of the bible i'm not sure if it's like of the new testament or not yeah um i think it's when life doesn't match your dreams that book i definitely want to get my hands on um i have an arc of it but i think i want a physical copy of her book um yeah it's 12 women of the bible hope for today from 12 women of the bible this book here is another one that she has um i think this was the first one she came out with and then she came out with this one um but we have that definitely going to be reading this and this goes through um let me tell you guys the woman miriam rahab deborah ruth naomi hannah panina uh saul's daughter i can never say her name Mikal, i think that's how you say it abigail and bathsheba and there are two other women that i cannot say their name so this person here and that person there so yeah can't say it not gonna butcher it so moving on, um, then I have this book that was sent to me. Oh, I didn't even realize this was the second book in a series. But I don't think it's following the same characters, so I feel like it's a companion series, but it's okay. Um, it's The Mulberry Leaf Whispers by Linda Thompson. It's the second book in the brands from the Burning uh, series trilogy, I'm not sure. Um, but I did request this for the block tour, so they did send me a copy of this. I believe it is with Prism Book Tours or Just Reads Tours one of those i got this book for so i will leave both companies down below so you guys can check them out basically they're um book blogging companies that help christian authors get their books out and they will send you a finish like a copy of a book for um the review or the tour or the instagram tour or whatever but um this one is set in 1587 um it is world war ii japanese naval officers oh i'm loving it japan they're a samurai so it's the teenage daughter of a legendary christian samurai we're here for it i love anything to do with japan i love anything to do with japan so i'm excited um rival shogun with the sweeping story of passion and faith of survival and hope be prepared to be enriched moved and deeply satisfied and that was blurb by jane kirkpatrick who is the author of some of something worth doing which i do on that book so um yeah i'm excited to dive into this anything with japan i'm here for it so um this looks like a have to be book but it's only about not even 400 pages 361 pages yeah, 361 pages historical fiction so i'm here for it. so we have that book there um and then the next ones are all from um baker publishing group but i have obviously the different brands so you have chosen you have rebel you have bethany house and things like that so this first one is from rebel and i did sign up with rebel for their blog tour for this it was between this and active defense which is book three in the danger never sleep series i own books one and two i have book three on ebook i didn't get a physical copy for that but they did send me a physical copy for this book and it's tied what a bride by laura france um and i don't remember what intrigued me about this book i'm not gonna lie it's historical fiction i just need to do a dedicated vlog for historical fiction but um yeah it's sayla hopewell virginia colony um there's a guy named xander rennick 
I don't know what time this is set in. It says 1770s. Mm. It starts in 1634, Virginia Colony. So, we'll see. I'm going to give it a go. It says, so the true Pocahontas and her people. Ah, I love Pocahontas. I love it. So, we're just going to try it out, give it a go. And if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, it'll go to Goodwill. Or I'll pass it along to one of you if you are interested. But, yeah, we have this. Um, And then the next ones are all from... um. Bethany so this one I did receive specifically from the publisher Bethany House because they sent me an email about the book that was up for um I think January pick this was a January book um this book does come out this month and it's by Jodi Hudlin and she is another author that I know has a lot of Christian fairy tale retellings that I definitely want to check out and she has some really awesome like espionage Christian based um historical fiction novels that I also want to check out. I have them on ebook. Um, so I got this one. It's the first book in the Colorado Cowboys and it's a cowboy for keeps. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The cover is what drew me in. We already know I love lavenders. So, I mean, no other reason, no other reason but that, but, um, it sounded interesting. Um, and it's set in, let's see what time, what time, what time. Well, the key scripture is going to be Psalm 5522, which says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee, and he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But it's set in 1862 in Colorado Territories. So, we're going to give it a go. Um, the last two are also from Bethany House. Um, so, I got these two for a tour with Just Reads Tours. Um, this is going to be an Instagram tour. However, Bethany, <laughs> what they did was they sent the wrong book out to everybody. So, we ended up having two books one to keep and one for the actual tour so the one they sent out to everyone was the still a heart by um jen serrano and it's the I, I don't even know what book this is it's a part of the bleaker street inquiry agency um so i don't know much about this author i have heard about this author from um the youtuber channel what is her name uh i can't think of her name right now uh, Lindsay. Lindsay from books for christian girls Check, click the article to her videos um she is an awesome young woman who makes videos all about clean christian books and um if i'm looking for a clean christian romance i do go to her channel just to check out some books but she has raved about jen serrano and so i'm not mad that this came in the mail it is what it is i mean i'm cool with it um yeah this is the first book in the tisilla heart um and this is set in new york city in 1886 if you don't know i'm a new yorker at heart born and raised um currently residing in jersey but new york all day um so i'm excited for that so yes this seems like it's going to be interesting i mean there looks to be like there's gonna be some stealing involved we don't know but we have that so this was the one that they sent by accident to us and told us to keep but they did end up sending the correct copy so we have dreams of savannah by rosanna and white i have read two books by rosanna and white and i can't think of them right now they are a part of the cold breaker series the trilogy um so i read book two i need to go back and reread book one and book three is out um i enjoyed book two enough so i figured why not read another one of her historical fictions and this one um looked to be a little bit more fun i don't even know what's not the worst to say but i loved the dress the dress this whole cover is what drew me in um so yeah and then the back over here is really nice i like how he's just standing there looks look, look. Looks like he's either waiting or looking at her from a distance. But, um, yeah, I have read Rosanna M's and Rosanna M. White's writing before. And I know that I do enjoy it. So, this is set in Georgia, Savannah, Georgia, in 1861. So, um, yeah, we'll see. And this book does come out this month, I believe. It's either this month or one of these months. I'll put on the screen exactly when. So, we have that. But, um, yeah, those are all of the books that were sent to me. And then on to some extra books that I have and extra stuff. So, the first thing I have here for you guys is um, this package that I got from... Ooh, Jenna from Jenna Room. Alex, sorry, I'm just taking everything out. Now I am missing um the bookmarks because I did laminate those and put those over there already. But I love Jenna's bookmarks so much. Um, but I am a part of her biblical fiction buffs book club. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the I to go to her video all about it. And basically every quarter there's a book selected. We read it. Um, there's a live show, she does giveaways and things like that on some awesome things. And we did our live show this month for well, not this month, last month for um return to me by lynn austin which i read loved five star it, it was phenomenal for me so i didn't reread it with them because i had already read it around my birthday um but i did obviously partake in a live show and i did win um one of the christmas ornaments so it literally is just the biblical fiction buffs um logo 
on a handmade ornament, which I loved. I did have it on my tree, so if you saw it on Instagram, awesome. If not, just click the link down below to go see how I had it on my Christmas tree. Um, it came with a thank you card. Again, like I said, it did come with the bookmarks, which I laminated and put somewhere in my room. Not going to find them. Um, it also came with another button, which I have, I think, three of these buttons. So cute. Um, I have two of her business cards, which I have more of her business cards, but I see that she did change up her colors on her business cards, which I think is interesting. Um, and then I have two more of her stickers, which I have a sticker of hers on my laptop right now that is like dirty, dingy, and needs to be removed. Um, but I also have another one from the first time I got this. Um, so yeah, that is that for what I got from Jenna. And I absolutely love Jenna. If you're interested in biblical fiction, learning about more biblical fiction and indie authors, um, definitely check out her channel. I adore her channel so much. I truly do. And she is an author herself. I did get a chance to beta read her book. And I am so excited for her book to finally release. Um, I'll throw the cover right here so you guys can see. She gorgeous, okay? She is gorgeous. I love them greens, okay? Them greens is gorgeous. Um, but I also love the content within and I love the characters. I am ready for a physical copy of her book. Like, you guys... I'm ready um so we have that so then the last things are just simple simple items um so I got myself a coloring book <laughs> if you guys don't know I have an obsession with coloring I love coloring I don't want to say obsession that sounds weird but I love coloring coloring is something that calms me down um I like you know regular coloring books but then adult coloring books came out and I was like oh I'm here for it and then they had um the Christian versions of adult coloring books of course and then the inspire bible came out and things like this so I have so many coloring books but I am on a unicorn kick don't know why i love unicorns i love mermaids and fairies that's just me um and thus i got this one i got it from five below it's the mythical creatures and more relax and de-stress let your colorful imagination run wide it's from kaleidoscope color ring i think this was like two dollars or something like that they had a bunch of them but this is the one that drew me um because the unicorns are so pretty i love the unicorns like this is so cute look like mommy and daughter this one is so realistic looking i love it um, there are other creatures. So here's a dragon. I love dragons. Uh, dragons are one of my favorite, favorite mythical creatures. Like, uh, if a book has a dragon, I'm here for it. If a movie has a dragon, I'm here for it. Unicorns and dragons, as well as phoenixes and um griffins, my favorite, favorite, favorite kind of creatures. Um, here's another unicorn. This has mermaids and fairies. I'm trying to find. Okay, so here's a mermaid. Um, I don't like that fairy. I'm trying to find another one. Oh, there's a werewolf. I didn't know that i'm trying to f oh this is so cute this is like a dragon mer unicorn i don't even know what to it's like a unicorn and a dragon and a mermaid all in one this is so pretty i i stand i stand that i have to color that um here's another one of those mermaid ones this is a fairy one right yeah this is a fairy one that i really really like so much but um i love coloring so you know we have that um and then i went to target and got three buttons um i realized 2020 was a hot mess and i knew that 2021 was going to be crazy ministry wise within my church ministry wise with doi personally for me and um with virtual learning and everything i just needed to make sure that this year i had um actual planners now i have a video on these planners probably i don't know when that video will go up because i don't know if it'll be before this or after this but whenever this video is if it's after click the i to go watch that video if I post it after, but I did record this video um, a day or two days ago. I already opened them and everything and wrote in them already, but I did a walkthrough of these planners, so you'll see that in that video, but I bought three planners. So I got a monthly planner. This is a full-on monthly planner for 2021, um, and you guys can see it's monthly, and it is Blue Sky, um, but it's by Cupcakes and Cashmere, and I got it from Target. I don't remember how much it was, but this was the only one there when I was looking for a monthly calendar, the only one, and um, it was really pretty in the black with the white polka dots with the semi gold foiling um and pretty much it just looks like this throughout so i already filled out january can i show you i'm still trying to work out exactly this is more so my social media planner because i realized i was doing a lot of social media stuff in here so i it's already filled out for january so i have like video ideas and things written down and then i bought two more planners um for personal use so i bought a big like a5 size and i bought a medium size to keep in my purse um the same company same planner just different color schemes so the main one that i saw first was this one this was the one that caught my eye um i love peaches blushes and things like that so this had a peach cover with the gold foiling really simplistic i prefer my covers to have more 
pizzazz to it but this was literally the only one they had like this the only one and i snagged it up so um these are both the, the two i'm going to show you next are from every girl for day designer so they are day designer ones but they're the weekly monthly i've gone through day designers and i've gotten their daily planners um that come in 30 minute increments and as well as hourly increments and those were great but i knew for this year i just did not want that just no didn't want it um because that would have been a lot more stress on myself um so yeah i got this one and i did do a walkthrough of this already however i already started my planning in this so i didn't fully write things out i just decorated the monthly stuck some important stickers in and then prepared the week design which i'm not done with it i need to actually go back but i did that on a the fly then i got the same exact planner but it's a smaller one and instead of the peach color it is green um so it's literally the same exact monthly weekly planner um from the every girl same setup and i did the same sort of thing in here i already started decorating i only stuck the stickers just because i ran out of that washi tape <laughs> So I think I have another roll of that washi tape, that polka dot when I need to find it. Um, because I'm gonna use it. The planner, these two planners are gonna have the exact same color schemes for the months and the weeks, um, just because they're the same planner. Um, and then again for that weekly, I don't even think I yeah, I didn't even start the weekly planning in here yet. But um I am gonna pick a day for that and I will be doing some um plan with me videos soon on the channel. I have not started even using my faith planner for the year. I need to set that up. Um, but yeah, that is it for my book haul. If you guys are interested in reviews or want more information on any of these books, um, let me know. I can definitely do that for you guys. Um, definitely expect those reading blocks coming throughout the course of the month. Um, and I'm excited for that. So yeah, I'm gonna go and record another video because that's what we're about to do since I'm a little energized and can't. I have me a, some soda here. So it is what it is. So the, I think the next video I'm gonna do is going to be what I got for Christmas. And then um, the other videos will most likely be my goal and word of the year. I was going to do my word of the year and my goals in two separate videos. But I think I'm going to combine them into one video to make it simpler myself. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next few videos. Bye.